Hello, I'm sitting here today with local musician Kevin Scott. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for coming on today. Thanks, really Kevin. appreciate it. So, first things first, uh, what kind of things are, are you and have you been involved in musically in the community? Uh, for the past five years, I've been in the Liberated, lead singer of the Liberated, uh, founding member. Um, I've played Funds Festival here. I've played uh, Dune Fest. Um, been the only band up until recently to play the Coney Station in the last um, 10 years. Very big supporter of all the local bands in town. I used to put on shows at Time Bomb uh, under the umbrella of Seven Year Sacrifice Productions. Uh, we used to have a lot of local talent here, uh, original, not local talent, but original bands here in town. And uh, I was organizing those shows over at Time Bomb for a period of a year and a half, two years, until they decided to stop doing things. So, um, that's what my forte is, is putting on shows and entertaining people. What role does music play in your life? It's therapy. It's, uh, it's how I deal with my emotions. Um, music's a universal language, and the thing that carries across universally is the emotion of the song. Um, you can have some pop songs that are just cheeky and fun and insubstantial, but when it's art, when it really speaks to your soul, that's when music is at its at its apex, when it really means something. And if you can convey that through a song, just an entire life experience through one song, a three and a half minute song, then you, you've done your job. And that's what music is to me. That's what I try to put into my music is that emotional connectivity and emotional weight and support that that song meant to have, or what I interpret it as, as my unique perspective. So it seems like emotions and conveying that emotion in your music is really important to you. What effect do you think that has on you as a performer, and how do you think it affects your audience? Uh, again, that's, that's my therapy, to get on stage and to be able to let those things out, um, whether it's intense sadness or rage or complete goofy slapstick happy behavior. That's a safe environment for me to let those things out. You know, you, you can't just get depressed and sad and shut down your whole life, but I can go on stage and I can bawl my eyes out and cry. I can't get in rage fits with people, but I can go on stage and I can scream, let the bodies hit the floor and throw all that rage into that emotion. Or I can go up there and put some underwear on and paint myself in head to toe and say, I'm a goofball and this is what I feel like doing in the evening. So it's it's therapeutic for me to get on stage and do that and let those things out. And I think that really connects with my audience as well. They, they learn to accept that I feel these things inside me and they're not bad, they're not wrong, they're, you know, they're there. And this is a safe place for me to come and let those things out too. You know, that dude up there is doing it. And I can get right in the front of the stage and I can dance my, my legs off, sing my heart out with these songs. I can feel it too. And that's, that's what I'm trying to get across. That same trying to connect universally with people through emotion and through the music and the beat and the rhythm. That's great. I think that's really a big part of what music is all about. So it's I agree. impressive and I'm excited to hear that in your performance. Um, so I know you, your band, The Liberated, recently split mm -hmm. after about five years of being together. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think you got out of your time with them? And, uh, this is the first band that I've been in that I was really able to bring the performance aspect to. Um, not quite the level that I wanted at, but really started opening that door for me going, okay, this is a real thing. I can really do this the way I want to do it. Um, and, and the underwear thing, I, I bring that one up a lot because that one has gotten the most attention and shock value um, and the body paint stuff it's you know when I do stuff like that and cameras come out people start recording taking pictures and oh my god what the hell is this guy doing and so to be able to incite that kind of response just by making myself vulnerable has has been mind-blowing for me it's been again I keep going back to therapeutic that's what this all is for me it allows me to be me and on a 
on a stage, on a platform, on a grand scale in comparison to just everyday life where you just run into people in the grocery store. You know, it's, I can take myself, turn myself up to 11 and still be accepted, you know, and that's, that's cool for me. Uh, I've always felt like an outcast and a rebel and um, a black sheep. And so to do these things that give me amusement and joy, that those are so accepted by people and embraced and encouraged and looked up to, you know, I get a lot of people who come up and go, I don't know how you do what you do. I could never do that. Yes, you can. You know, you, you've got something blocking you, but yeah, you can do that. You just let it out and whatever it is, it might not be the same thing. You might not want to get in underwear and paint yourself from head to toe, but you've got something in you that's been pushed down and said that that's not okay. And I'm here to tell you, yeah, it is. You do anything you want to do. You know, it's just let yourself out, let yourself be free, liberate yourself. That's excellent. So moving forward, do you have any plans for the future? I do. I, um, Nothing I can talk about just yet, um, but I am talking to multiple individuals, um, musicians, directors, um, audio visual guys. Uh, I, I have some stuff in the works for the future. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be bigger, louder, more obnoxious than it was in the past. And it's just going to keep going. It's like a snowball just rolling down the hill. I'm excited to hear more from you, Kevin. Well, while we've got you here, I was hoping we could have you head on over to our studio and perform a song or two for us. You got it. Excellent. Let's head on over. Slipping through my hands All the pain in 